It was in September 2017 that Tata Motors launched the Nexon and with time it became one of the highest selling SUVs in India selling over 5 lakh plus units till date no doubt it is an important product for the company and today we have the thoroughly updated Tata Nexon SUV with us it looks fresh futuristic and much more contemporary but before we dive deep into the review please do click on the bell notification icon and do subscribe to the car and bike youtube channel and if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends the design on the tata nexon facelift is a complete departure from the previous model so much so that it wouldn't be wrong to call it a new generation design so let me tell you about the front end of the vehicle looks very sharp very futuristic and the slim sequential led daytime running lights apart from that you also have these vertically stacked bifunction led headlights the grille and the bumper is completely redone as well and the bonnet gets a few cuts and creases as well makes it nice and butch so full marks there to tata motors for making changes on the sheet metal as well the led drls have a welcome and a goodbye function which add to the premium feel that the nexon offers the car doesn't change much when viewed from the side save for the newly styled roy wheels which are still 16 inch units and the wheel arches get revised cladding the rear section of the suv also gets significant revisions in the design department first up is this nice led bar which connects both tail lamps apart from that the bumper is new and the tailgate section is newly done as well now this nice interesting detail is there which is the hidden wiper it's right hidden up here so that you can't see it but it functions normally as a normal rear wiper would apart from that you have this nice sloping roof line giving it that coupe suv look so from the rear the tata nexon facelift looks really cool and vibrant but there is a catch we suspect that the design while it may look fresh now may not age well over the years dimensions of the tata nexon facelift stay similar to a large extent the length increases by 2 mm to 3995 mm and the width decreases by 7 mm to 1804 mm but the height increases from 1606 mm to 1620 mm wheel base stays the same as before at 2498 mm and the ground clearance stays the same as well at 208 mm the boot space is 382 liters sitting in the cabin of the nexon facelift the first thought that comes to mind is the fact that uh, the dashboard its layout is inspired from the curve concept so you notice that uh, all the buttons have been eliminated from the dashboard there's a new touch screen here a 10.25 inch unit which is much better in terms of operation and feedback than the older 7 inch unit apart from that the steering wheel it's a two spoke unit and it has that illuminated tata logo in the center looks very cool some might say gimmicky but uh, to us it looks cool and uh, of course this haptic panel here which houses controls for the ac the control for the ventilation of the seat is here right beside you and you have this mono stable gear shifter it's a premium touch the rotary knob for toggling between the driving modes and lastly the new 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster it's a nice segment first feature because the moment you switch on navigation on your screen it also transfers to the cluster in its entirety so that's a great feature to have there's also 360 degree high definition surround view system with a crisp video that can be touch controlled and a blind view monitor which is engaged when you use the turn signals while driving it is a thoughtful feature to have and both features are segment first too there are other features like three step ventilated seats for front passengers wireless charging tray and paddle shifters for a more engaging driving experience plus you also get options for choosing tata's aira connectivity technology which now has over 200 plus voice commands in various languages but there are a few issues too the quality of materials used and finishing at few places wasn't up to the mark and the front section hardly has any cubby holes to store your phone wallet keys etc 
and it is difficult to access the USB and Type-C charging ports. Plus, the piano black finish on the steering wheel and the AC control panel needs a lot of effort for maintenance. Now the big question that many of our readers had, the purple upholstery inside the cabin is available only on the top spec petrol engine variant. Sure, it may be a bit too much for a few people, but we think it is a bold step and yes, the seats are comfy too. The color of the upholstery will depend on the persona that you choose. Space at the rear continues to be the same as before, uh, decent enough knee room and uh, headroom is a little short because of the sloping roof line but uh, the good feature is the fact that you get cup holders and armrest here. The front passengers they do get an armrest but there are no cup holders so that's a miss I think. Now the Tata Nexon was one of the first made in India cars to get a 5 star crash test rating from Global NCAP. And with the Nexon facelift, Tata says it has further strengthened the chassis and the car gets 6 airbags as standard along with ABS, ESP and seat belt reminders for all passengers. Tata has moved on from its earlier and somewhat confusing nomenclature to what it calls personas. It is similar to what the Tata Punch uses. There are 4 personas, smart, pure, creative and fearless with each persona having a different set of features and color options. The Tata Nexon facelift continues to have the same 1.2 litre 3 cylinder turbocharged petrol engine and the 1.5 litre diesel engine on offer. The petrol motor makes 118.27 brake horsepower at 5500 rpm with peak torque output of 170 Nm at 1750 to 4000 rpm. The diesel unit makes 113.3 bhp at 3750 rpm and the torque rating is 260 Nm between 1500 and 2750 rpm. Tata offers a 5 speed manual and a 6 speed manual on the petrol variant along with a 6 speed AMT and a 7 speed dual clutch automatic which is the pick of the lot. On the diesel, there is a 6 speed manual and a 6 speed AMT. So right now I'm driving the turbo petrol variant of the Tata Nexon and uh, it feels all too familiar and this engine is mated to a 7 speed DCA or the dual clutch automatic that Tata calls it and uh, well the power build up is nice and linear it is progressive and uh, there is a slight hint of turbo lag right at the bottom end. But uh, once the engine crosses the 2200 rpm mark, then it comes into its own and builds up speed really nicely. And uh, yes, I mean, the top end grunt is quite nice. And the 7 speed dual clutch automatic, well, it isn't the slickest shifting unit out there. But uh, in case you want to make overtaking maneuvers in a jiffy, then it does a good job of holding the gears and building up speed. Nice ride quality is something that Tatas are known for and the Nexon continues that tradition. The tuning of the suspension is a perfect balance of stiffness and suppleness. So at high speeds there is a hint of stiffness which keeps the car stable and planted even when you're cornering a little hard. and. Uh, it is also supple enough to gobble up uh, all the undulations on the road and uh, doesn't throw you around too much. So that's the good part there. And the steering feel of the Nexon facelift continues to be one of the best in the segment. And it's a decent handling car, it always was. The diesel engine offers a nice shove of torque and has solid mid-range. But in terms of refinement, it could have done better. Also, the 6-speed manual is not exactly smooth and the clutch operation is a little hard which could trouble you in traffic. Between the petrol and the diesel, our recommendation would be the petrol. The Tata Nexon operates in a segment which not only has a lot of other options but there is significant overlap from sedans and hatchbacks as well. The Maruti Suzuki Brezza, Hyundai Venue along with the Nissan Magnite, Renault Kaiga and the Kia Sonnet. Mahindra XUV300 are some of its rivals, quite a lineup indeed. 
prices of the earlier models started at 8 lakh rupees and almost went up to 15 lakh rupees. Expect a bump of up to 1 lakh rupees per variant on account of the updates it gets. Especially in terms of features, the new Nexon will be launched on September 14, 2023. The new Tata Nexon has a fresh and funky vibe to it. With the updates, it is now easily one of the best looking cars in the segment, gets a boatload of features and continues to carry on with its proven petrol and diesel engines. It has the potential to upset the Apple cart, that is the subcompact SUV segment in India, with the tough and comfy car that it is. Should it be on a consideration list? The loud and resonating answer to that is yes, absolutely.